Now, oh, what was it, about a year ago? The NFL announced that the draft was going to be going away from Philly. Yes. And coming here to Dallas. Yep. How long have we been waiting for the oh, the draft dude. to come here to Dallas? So that way we can just Fuck. go to it. Finally. We got so excited when we heard that, right? Well, actually, this started like years ago because, yeah. see, the draft was always in New York, right? Yep. And then they decided in 2015 that they were going to move it to Chicago. Mm -hmm. And they were there for a couple of years. Yep. And that opened the door up, right? We're like, hmm. Are they going to start taking this shit on the road? And then they decided to go to Philadelphia last year. Like, yep. They're going to start taking this yep. shit to, to cities all across the country. You know, highest bidder, whatever, you know. Yeah. And uh, they decided last year that they were going to bring the draft here to fucking Dallas. Dallas, Texas, baby. And how hyped were we? We were like, yes! We were so we've been, pumped. We've been waiting this for so we're long. Like, we don't have to fly anywhere. We can just drive. We just, we we, we started planning things. We're like, yep. all right, we're going to go to the draft. We're going to tailgate. We're going to fucking meet up with all, all kinds of people. Yep. We're, our, our friends and everything. And it's going to be a great time. It's going to be at AT&T Stadium. We thought oh, it was going to be at the Star in Frisco. That's what we thought. Because that's what Dallas wanted to do in 2017. Yep. But they lost the bid to Philadelphia. Yep. So... It's going to AT&T Stadium, and we're like, holy shit. The largest venue ever. Largest venue. It's going to be the largest crowd, right? That's what yep. we thought. Yeah. And uh, we're like, oh, they, they these tickets are going to be fucking cheap because there's going to be so many. Or, or whatever. I don't care. I'll, I'll pay whatever. I'll, <laughs> yeah, I want to go to the draft. Me and you both would pay whatever it would cost. Them. Why? <laughs> because this year's draft especially yeah. is one of the craziest drafts I have fucking ever seen yeah. going into it. Yeah. I mean, right? That already, there's been the trades, and there's more trades coming, probably. It's going to be chaos, man. Yeah. We have no idea how it's going to go down. And your team is in the top 10. I'm in the, we're in the top 10. I'm, you, in, I'm 19th. You're, you're 19th. Not you, bad. You, you, have, you guys have a lot of needs. Yeah, we do. But we were hyped for this shit. Yeah. So, we're sitting in front of our computers for days on end. We're like, okay. Oh, shit, all right, months. Know. Months. All right, here <laughs> we, we go. We've been waiting. You're, you're going to sell yeah. tickets, right? When? When? Now, didn't we put on a reminder? We when? Okay, when? When? When are they selling tickets, Sean? No. They never did. They never were intending on selling tickets. It doesn't make sense. Fuck you, NFL, Roger Goodell. God damn it. I was so hyped to yeah. go to the draft here in Dallas, we talked about it. I don't know how many times and we've in our been videos. To people to fucking come out here and go in, our, in our streams. Yeah. Here's what they're gonna fucking do. Even despite the fact that they're going to AT and T Stadium, which can hold a capacity crowd of a hundred thousand people. Yep. They're still gonna use the same method where they're gonna do a lottery system yep. where you can register for the. Um, for the draft for the experience, draft. they're gonna and have all kinds of activities. They're gonna have stuff outside that you can do, and then you and then you have a chance, yeah, to win tickets, to mm -hmm. get tickets to attend the yeah. live draft, to watch yeah. your team draft. How and many? It's only a select how, few. How many diehard NFL fans out there would love yeah. to attend the draft? Yeah, <laughs> dude, I felt like people would be paying thousands of dollars to do it. Now, the NFL mm -hmm. did decide that they were gonna put out these packages. Yeah. Which is kind of similar to the Hall of Fame. If you ever yeah. decided when you want to go to the Hall of Fame, the NFL does put out these packages. Yeah. And they're expensive as shit. Holy shit. Expensive. The NFL draft packages started yeah. off at $800 wow. a person. And you know what? We were totally down to do it. 800 bucks? Fuck it! Let's but, go! What? Tell them, Josh. Tell them what Well, happened. hold on. Because here's why I was willing to spend 800 bucks a pop. Yep. Because you get a whole lot with it. Mm -hmm. You get to, like, there's like a red carpet experience. You get to fucking you meet go, NFL go stage. players and yeah. Hall of Famers, legends and shit, autographs. Yep. You get to, yeah, get on the stage and take pictures of behind the draft podium and all yeah. that shit. That's fucking awesome. That's and you'll get to attend dream the come draft. True. Dream you, come true. And it was the only way you could actually go and buy tickets to yeah. the draft. Yep. But when you go to the website and you try to buy those packages because you're an asshole and you're like, I'll spend eight hundred fucking dollars on a yeah. ticket to go to the draft, you know what you got? You got a fucking little goddamn notification that says, "We're sorry, but the NFL doesn't have any travel packages due to high demand." If your dumbass wants to come back later and be and refresh, refresh, and refresh, <laughs> when when packages become more available, more available, then you can buy them. Until then, fuck you! And they never, I never saw them go on sale. 
You know, it's, it doesn't make any sense to me. Is that literally we both put in a request to be notified when tickets went up for sale. I got to calm my breathing a little bit. Right? Because I'm mad. But why did they put that option? Be notified when tickets are on sale. Why give us that option if they were truly never technically on sale? I want to know. No, I want to fucking know on social media, Facebook, whatever, who actually, did anybody, or is anyone actually able to buy, to buy these packages? I don't because know. Because I was there from the very beginning, and I constantly fucking checked. I know you checked. Never saw tickets go on sale. Why the fuck doesn't the NFL <laughs> sell their draft tickets? Now, the, you guys changed your format. Of the draft. Yep. Instead of being, you know, in a single location in New York for all those goddamn years, yep. you decided to take it on the road. So, obviously, you guys are open to changing how you do this, how you guys uh, yeah. uh, fucking do your goddamn draft. This, 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 Josh, it's okay. It's okay. Breathe. No, man. Breathe. It's not okay. <laughs> no, fuck that. Hear no, <laughs> fuck that. You know why? Because we thought yeah. about going to it in Chicago, right? Yeah. Remember that? We, we were almost we, flew out there. We were about to book a hotel and everything, but we couldn't mm -hmm. get tickets yep. because we had to register for a lottery. Fuck you. So here in Dallas, like, there's yeah. no doubt. They, they're going to they have, have to. They're going to have to sell there's tickets. too many seats. Because you got that big fucking stadium. They're yeah. going to have to sell tickets and fill that place in. Because this is the first time they've had an actual actual stadium. Yeah. It's usually at, like, like, concert halls or music halls or whatever. Or let motherfuckers come in for free to yeah. fill that place up. Get it right? pumped. Get excited. Because here's the stupid fucking thing about it. You have it at at and Stadium. This video's not getting monetized, by the way. Uh, uh, but... You have it at ATT Stadium. Yep. There's a picture of what it's going to look like. The stage oh, God. and everything. Yes. And there is nothing but empty space all around that First motherfucker. Off, they're using from the 30 yard yard line. It makes no sense! To the end zone. So there's like pretty much everything behind it. It's like 70 yards, right? Not being used. It Why? makes no damn sense. Why have it there? Just have it at a goddamn convention center. Yeah. At the fucking American Airlines Center. Hell, or, or, or they should have just brought the stars for 2018. Why waste it's all stupid. that space... It doesn't make sense. ...at AT&T Stadium. Now, tell them why, Sean. Now, you they, they, like, look, they still have all this draft experience, which is pretty cool, right? But, you could do the 40-yard dash. You could yeah. do the vertical uh, jump. They have an NFL museum where you can look at all the NFL memorabilia, yep. Hall of Fame busts. Yep. They're going to have uh, college uh, Hall of Fame memorabilia. Yeah. They're going to have all kinds of activi activities, including autographs, <laughs> uh, um, like little yeah. tables and shit set up. But why wouldn't it be worth it going just for that? <laughs> because if anybody's... If you haven't been... To AT and T Stadium, the location is horrible for any public. It's not a public place. First off, it's surrounded by businesses. There's the first off, the parking is horrible, guys. The parking. No. The parking it's, is so goddamn. It's expensive. the worst. It's the worst. It is the worst. You know how much we spent to go p just to park two blocks, three blocks. Wait, no, uh, three blocks away from the stadium. 80 goddamn dollars. And Sean's left nut. That's how much it costs. We weren't supposed to talk about that. But anyways, Sorry. it could be over $100 if you get closer. That's how expensive it is. And why, it's, why you ask? It's because all those parking lots around it are private property. They're rented out by businesses allowing you to park there. So... With the NFL mobile pass bullshit, they go, "Hey, look, you registered, and you can go to the, you can go ten outside the AT&T Stadium yep. and and uh fucking you know, check out all these free activities, right? Yep. For you and your whole family, it sounds fun. But when you get here, <laughs> your ass is gonna pay for some parking, boy. Yeah. And is it really worth to spend that much money just to go there and not be able to go inside? At AT&T Stadium, that motherfucker's all the way in Arlington. Yeah. It's a ter uh, it, the there's drive. no there's no public transportation. Oh god! And the, the, the traffic is terrible. Let's not get into the construction on the highway right by the fucking stadium. It's not worth it. No. If you live here in the Dallas area, and oh my god, my blood pressure. Yeah. If you live in the Dallas area and you have kids and you want to go out there, keep that in mind. You're gonna have to pay for uh, yep. uh, a lot for parking, and the and getting there and getting back out of that place, depending, especially mm -hmm. if you live. You know, in in the you know more in the Dallas area, yeah. you know North East um, or South Dallas, yeah. you're gonna pay a fuckload of money, and you're going to be sitting in traffic for a long time. Yeah, 
It's just because if you're thinking about the parking lot, because they're using all the parking lots at AT and T Stadium, the parking lot that, that uh, at the stadium for all the events, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> because let me tell you why. Tell us why, Josh. It's like a carnival setting. It really yeah. is. It's like a yeah. it's like an outdoor goddamn carnival. They have all these free activities, but yeah. it's an outdoor outdoor uh, setting, yeah. which is like a fucking yeah. carnival, right? Yeah. Who would do that? I wouldn't want to do that. I, I would not spend that much money and deal with all that bullshit. You see, and not you see my skin ass. tone. I am not going to be outside. Yeah, I'm no. not going to be outside all Josh damn is a day. Vampire, he'll die. No, I'm gonna Ooh. I'm gonna get burnt. <laughs> I just spilled yep. my beer. Okay. I missed my lip. All right. I'm good. I just spilled my beer. Here's what the NFL needs to do regarding the draft. Hmm. The NFL draft, what I think they should do going forward, they should start selling Seriously. tickets. If you're – don't have it at – you don't even have to have it at, at NFL stadiums. No. No, don't do it. Go to basketball stadiums. Yeah. Like American Airlines Center here in Dallas. Or go to the yeah. United Center if you're going to be in Chicago. Go to a basketball stadium mm -hmm. and start selling t tickets. Open it up to capitalism. This is a – you're a business, right? You're in it – you're trying to make any extra money that you can possibly make. Yes, it's a capitalist country. What are you doing? Put your fucking tickets up for sale so assholes yeah. like us can spend a shitload of money God. to go buy them on StubHub for f if we miss them on face value. Rather than having just a few select fans win it. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and if you don't want to sell tickets, I don't I don't know why they don't do it. But let's yeah. say they don't. We don't want to sell tickets to the draft. Well, they fucking have people show up for free. Let you get first for come, free. first serve. Yeah. I don't know. I'll be camping out. How? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then you, you, you camp out and you hold my spot. No. All right. And then what you could do is yeah. throughout the, the like that whole weekend, the draft weekend, Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday, maybe even Sunday, um, you could have at the at the at that city's convention center, mm -hmm. like WWE would do with Access, have your draft activities there, right? Yeah. You can have all that stuff, and mm -hmm. it's an in, it's in a controlled environment. And uh, I would also I just thought of. When the when the Super Bowl was here in Dallas, yeah. Packers Steelers, they had something like that. Yeah. Prior to the Super Bowl, <laughs> they had a, a, a like an NFL experience yeah, type NFL of thing experience. at the Dallas Convention Center. Yeah. And they had all all these same activities that, that. that they have that they're gonna have for the draft. Mm -hmm. All these same activities they had it there at the Convention Center, and it was a great time. Yeah. I went there with some friends, and it was fun, especially because yeah. they had a lot of beer. So it was really good. <laughs> The NFL Fair. draft should be the same thing. You know why? Because the draft is drawing much more interest. Especially um, nowadays. Last year, over 250,000 fans attended the draft in Philly as far as all the activities and everything yeah. goes for all those all those days. Yep. They generated $94 million into the Philadelphia, into Philadelphia's economy. That's a fuckload That's of money. That's a lot right of there. money. And during the three days of the draft programming, yeah. the NFL claimed five of the ten spots during the draft uh, among sports events, including the number one spot for the year. Wow. That's how big it is. People, yeah. And then and going into this 2018 draft, the NFL had more more interest yeah. than any other year. Over 100,000 people requested tickets. Yeah. Over 100. That's money right there, assholes. And see, money. Think about this, too. The Business. You said Philadelphia, 94 million, right? Yes. And that's not even considering. Ex think about this. If they would have started selling tickets... That even more income than that would have been here because of the fact that people flying in, people staying at hotels, uh, all this stuff would have contributed to that. If people knew they could buy tickets, they would have booked plane tickets, booked hotel rooms. All I would. This stuff. I would. Yeah. That's what the NFL should do. But NFL should start selling NFL they tickets need to start doing so it. people can who want to attend can attend. Even if they want to pay a little extra money buying, you know, and you know, in other like uh, um you know, like on StubHub and shit like that. And you know what's funny is I went to StubHub to see if maybe maybe we just missed no. it, right? No. And it, there was there was an event there, and it said, "Do you want to be notified when they go on sale?" I'm like, "Sure." Never got notified because it never went on sale. Yeah, the NFL is not going to sell tickets, so I think it's a terrible idea. 
It pisses me off. It pisses off Sean because we have been wanting to attend an NFL draft for Dude. the longest time. We always it's like one of my pe- like we, bucket list. Shit. We always sign up for the goddamn register. We never win the damn lottery. No. We don't win any of these contests that they put up where you can go to the draft. Just yeah. sell the damn tickets because here is here it is. 2018. It's in Dallas, in our, in our, our neck our of the woods, town. and we wanted to go. We wanted to go and uh, with our friends and maybe meet up with some, some other subscribers fans. with yeah. some of y'all, even other fellow YouTubers. We're like, come on, come down, we'll go. And now that can't happen. It's not going to happen. We. It looks like we're not going to go to the draft because we're not going to win tickets. Um. So yeah, what we're going to do is more than likely. Yeah. Ninety percent sure. We're going to be streaming for the draft 2018. Yeah. And we will not be yeah. attending the draft like we fucking wanted to for a year now since they announced that they were coming to Dallas. Fuck the goddamn I, I NFL tears with this down my face right bullshit. Now. It's, it, it, this is really heartbreaking, man, because I really, really wanted to go to the draft so bad. When they announced it at Dallas, I got so excited. I got so fucking excited. And it just crushes my heart. Crush my dreams. And I don't understand why no one else is talking about this. I don't see nobody else making any videos. I don't see yeah, anybody I, else I uh, talking about this in any articles. No one else no. is talking about this, and I don't understand why. Everybody wants to go to the draft. Yeah. Why not sell the damn tickets so that way you? It's in your. It's in our hands. The yeah. fans. You know. We get we either, we either get on face value or we yep. go to a StubHub or whatever and buy whatever I, whatever I was, we don't sell oh for. God, I was willing to spend some money. I don't know why anyone else is not talking about this, but we are, and I think it's bullshit. Yep. I think it's a big fucking deal because I we want to attend the damn draft. We want to be able to buy tickets. We want to be able to sit where we want to sit. Yeah, it's bullshit. But yeah. that's our thoughts on the draft and how they run things for this three day fucking event. What are your thoughts so about stupid. the draft? Are you guys so just as pissed off as we are that the NFL doesn't sell tickets? You don't care, whatever. It's so diehard nice. fans want to attend the draft, and diehard fans want to be able to buy tickets. And they're for the willing draft. to spend the money, but that's it. 